Toumi, who joins me live from Paris as well. He's a France Affairs analyst. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. Our correspondent's just telling us that there's social crisis, political crisis, economic crisis. It seems sounds like things are falling apart in France. Why? Good morning again. Thank you for having me on the show. It is, it, it, it's indeed, yeah, I mean, it's a multi-dimensional crisis that France has been going through. I will add during the last year also, and precisely in last summer, since the decision of President Macron, Macron to dissolve the lower chamber, the National Assembly, in which that led to this a political impasse, and in fact, it is a serious political crisis that France is going through, and it is a tough, tough test for the Fifth Republic since it was created by General de Gaulle in 1958. And this is interestingly, interestingly enough, it's the second time a prime minister who will be ousted uh, uh, by the uh, uh, lower. Uh, chamber since 1962, in October 1962, uh, 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 at that time was George Pompidou, Prime Minister of uh, President uh, Jean de Gaulle. But this time it's totally different. It's an unheard of because what happened yesterday, it opened up a serious gate of unknown. And France, I mean, Sure, it's, we are not there yet. It's not an institutional crisis, but it is a serious political crisis that was caused or provoked, actually, by President Macron himself, who, I mean, he, he wasn't, I mean, when he came into power in 2017, he was not that conventional politician that France, I mean, used to have. Uh, and, I mean, this person came from nowhere, I mean, he, he was a bank, uh, again, uh, uh, employee, and uh, I mean, a serious economic, has economic mindset, but zero experience about politics and the difficulties and the complexities of French, particularly French politics. So this, I mean, where Prince Macron, I mean, found himself. And again, yesterday, I mean, last night, when he just came in from a state visit from Saudi Arabia, I mean, he made that quick comment, and this is, it's about Macron's, and when he said it's not a political fiction, well, I mean, he needs Jed Bartley experience, I mean, to deal with, because it is now a non-fiction, it it's non-fiction uh, 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 politics, and he has to deal with because now the Austin of uh, Michel Barnier, I mean, Michel Barnier did what he could, uh, 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 I mean, uh, uh, to do. I mean, he knew, I mean, his lifetime he, 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 and his government was going to be very, very short, and it did last three months. Actually, it's the shortest uh, premiership in the French Republic since 19. Uh, 50, uh, I don't know. I, I apologise for interrupting you, just because I want to get in, uh, a question on the sort of the wider situation in Europe. Because you're talking about Barnier, and Barnier was ousted because he wanted to make spending cuts, which weren't very popular. But the the fact was that France is, is spending more of its high percentage of its GDP than is allowed under EU regulations. It's got financial problems. So has Germany. It's got budgetary issues. So you've got the two main powerhouses of Europe with their own economic problems. I mean, how has that come about and, and what does it mean for, for Europe heading forward? It is a serious matter because, I mean, this is, was again mainly the impact of the ongoing war in Ukraine. And also, I mean, France has been dealing with the budget crisis and the spending crisis for the last, I would add, two, two decades also. But this time, I mean, Michel Barnier tried to be, again, that, cons I mean, the man of consensus and compromise, but it didn't work well because of the, on one hand, the, I would say, the tenacity of the main, I would say, uh, odd uh, oppositions from the left and the extreme right of the, 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 the party of Marine Le Pen in its ally that he, uh, again, uh, came from, the, the, I mean, represent, uh, represents 
the uh, 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 radical uh, 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 wing of what we used to be the Republican of Eric Ciotti. So, and on the other hand, there is also the uh, 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 tenacity of La France Insoumise, who did, again, played a major role with the alliance of the left, the uh, new uh, 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 Republican front, who did from day one wanted to uh, 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 host, uh, host the government of Bani because of, the uh, again, these uh, austerity policies, economic policies, and the, uh, the spending cut and so on. So, the, but the two main, like Jean-Luc Mélenchon and uh, Marine Le Pen, they have, again, a strategic uh, 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 objective is to push President Macron to resign, and therefore they will call for an early presidential election because, according to them, the only solution to break through uh, of this political impasse is to call for an early presidential election, therefore to fire President Macron. But constitutionally speaking, they can do it because, I mean, no, uh, there is no uh, again, uh, uh, explicit article in the French constitution to uh, 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 push President Macron to be, uh, I mean, uh, 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 to uh, resign unless uh, he will be or having some health uh, issue. But it, 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 we are not there in this mm -hmm. case. But President Macron now is obliged to, uh, again, uh, uh, reappoint another prime minister. But this is the dilemma. How long will last the next government of this prime minister? Therefore, I think France is leading to another uh, crisis, and President Macron can't dissolve again the lower chamber until next July, because according to the French constitution, it needs 12 months. I don't know, I do, I do apologise. I'm afraid we, we are out of time. We're going to have to wrap it up there. Appreciate it, though. French affairs analyst Abdenaud Toumi is my guest.